Hey guys, Nick, aka the one only Crisis YT, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about how money has changed the YouTube community for the better. Now, there are some negative things that money has done to the YouTube community, and I'm not saying there is, you know, everything money does is good. I know that there are some people and some channels out there that literally just suck the life out of their subscribers for money. I understand that. But the thing is, if people and their subscribers are still willing to watch their videos, even if they are sucking the life out of them for money, then, um, hey, that's that subscriber's choice. So, I don't want to talk about the negative stuff, though. I want to talk about all of the positive stuff it's done for YouTube. And, uh, first off, it's made this able to be done 40 hours a week, a full-time job. A lot of people don't understand that that's how long really producing good YouTube content takes. I mean, people like PewDiePie, especially the Syndicate Project, Woody's Gamer Tag, even Wings of Redemption, all those guys, they put, I mean, 40 to 80 hours a week into YouTube. Someone like me, I put around 30 hours a week into it. And uh, my videos by no means are on the caliber uh, that those guys' videos are. And, I mean, they post two videos a day, sometimes three videos a day. I mean, that is incredible that they can do that. And, I mean, they're putting so many hours into YouTube. And if it wasn't for YouTube money, they wouldn't be able to do that. To survive in this society, I mean, you have to make money in some way, shape, or form. And uh, if money didn't exist in YouTube, you wouldn't have people making videos every day of the week. I can guarantee that. If there was no option, there was absolutely no possible way that um, money could ever be made from YouTube, the amount of people making daily videos would decrease, if not almost disappear. The reason? Because you need to actually go out and make a living to survive. A lot of people, especially the younger gaming community, I think, doesn't understand that. That's why I hate the term money whore. Because in all honesty, if it's making you money, if it's making you a living, and you're not like sucking the life out of your subscribers, which in all honesty, I can't think of off the top of my head anyone in the gaming community that does that, um, then it's not money whoring. It's simply making a living. It's the same thing as you know you going out and working at McDonald's or your parents going out and working at whatever office job they have or McDonald's or whatever they do. You know, it's the exact same concept. Except the person making YouTube videos is doing something fun and is doing something that they enjoy. It's just like any entrepreneur that gets into doing something he or she loves. Steve Jobs loved making computers, loved building computers and coding the UIs and things like that in computers. So he started Apple doing what he loved to do. That doesn't make him a money whore by any means. That means that makes him someone who can take something that he loves and find a way to do it all the time for a living. That's not a money whore. That's someone who we should look up to. Um, that's something that I hope to do, right? With coding and everything like that. The video that I put up yesterday. I mean, or two days ago on Monday now. Um, so th that's what I want to do. And that's what I'm striving to do. I mean, YouTube is a passion of mine. I love to do it. And I don't make a ton of money off of it. I don't do it by the for the money by any means. But would I, I mean, I've put out daily videos this week. Would I do that if there was no money involved? Probably not. I'd probably put out one video a week and just, you know, talk to you guys and have a community and stuff. But, like, it wouldn't be this thing where I work my ass off on it because there's no reason to. It would just be a hobby then. And I understand that you need to work your ass off. I'm kind of, some people may say I'm contradicting myself because I said you have to work your ass off to get somewhere. Well, if there's absolutely no chance of making money off your hobby, I'm sorry, you can work your ass off all you want, but there's probably not going to be a way to make money off of it. I mean, if there's absolutely no chance, there's not going to be. So, um, you know, maybe you can make a way to make money off of your hobby, and that's something that many people have done before. Steve Jobs, one of them, really. I mean, you know, he made personal computing a thing. Him and Microsoft with Bill Gates, both him and Bill Gates, um, made personal computers a thing and made their hobby, their passion, their business. I mean, you can do things like that. You just have to believe and believe that you can start them. And that goes back to my, you know, the time is now video. So, yeah, that's the thing. YouTube money has made it justifiable to do YouTube as a job. I mean, it has done so many good things. It's also improved the quality of YouTube. 
I mean, think about it. Would we have so many people with HD videos and HD this, HD that, amazing editing if there was no money in YouTube? I don't think we would. So nevertheless, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. What are your thoughts on YouTube money? Tell me that in the comment section down below. Um, nevertheless, guys, I'm Nick, and I'm out. Peace. And here are two videos you guys may have missed. On the left is a video that I actually referenced in this video, and uh, that is The Time Is Now. Basically, it's a very inspirational commentary. Um, I don't want to spoil it too much, so go check it out if you haven't already seen it. And on the right is a Halo 4 tutorial in which I compare the BR and the DMR side by side, give facts and graphs and all that awesome stuff. So go check out that video if you want to get better at Halo 4. Nevertheless, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, as well as subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Nick, and I'm out, guys. Peace.